So the first thing that we can think about is how can I increase the size of this thing so that I can more easily see the data? And usually you could just hold down control on the keyboard and use the scroll on your mouse. So I'm holding down control on the keyboard, scrolling up on my mouse, and I can see that I'm up at 110%, 125%, 150%, and so on and so forth. So you can scroll in and out. I'm gonna go back out again. Usually about 125 is where I kind of think it's the sweet spot where I can see a little bit better. It's not quite too small, which is the default. And that's what I will typically scroll into. I might scroll in a little bit further when we're doing the presentations because I think that's a little bit easier to look at when we're on a screencast. So that's a great tool and it's something that you don't really have on the desktop. You can't easily make the numbers bigger. So for example, on the desktop. So that's a great tool. However, it does lead to some problems because as you scroll in, you'll note that some of the icons will change because it's a website. And if you know about websites that are on different platforms, for example, in other words, this website, one of the benefits is that you might be able to open it on like a tablet or on a phone. And if it's on a phone, the whole layout of the website is gonna be trying to re-optimize for the layout of a smaller screen on a phone. So that means that the, the actual icons across the top and the bar on the left, for example, is gonna switch, it's gonna look different. So that means that when you're following along with me, then if I'm scrolling in really tight here, it's going to change possibly the layout of things. So, so you can see here, now I have this drop down up top and I still have the ribbon on the left. So, and if you're super scrolled in and I'm zoomed out, then you have to realize that the screen might look slightly different. And so if that's the case, you can scroll in and out. Now that also is combined with the added problem of because this is a website, Intuit is more likely to change it more often because the web designers are always A-B testing, which hopefully will help them, as we discussed in a prior presentation, find the optimal size of the screen. But it's also something that I don't think they'll ever stop because the, the web designers want to justify their job, right? So even if they got a perfect website, they're not just going to leave it that way. They're always going to be tinkering with something which is one reason we update this course, hopefully on a yearly basis, so we get the latest look and feel of it so it never gets too old, so it, so it looks totally different.